Hey guys, Xbox here. This is the Orcs Must Die Twin Halls. So hopefully this guide slash tutorial will give you guys a good idea on how, you know, what technique I use to beat it. So the tricky part here is uh, basically they got two doors where depending on, you know, how you guys choose, basically they're going to come through both doors and you got to be able to defend both. So you guys got to also give me a break here. This is like, I think, my uh, fifth time playing this. So... What I try doing is really stacking one side over here with a lot of archers um, and a lot of items that would uh, you'll see here in a moment that will fling the uh, they will fling the guy basically into the pit. So here, I thought they were going to come out that door, but I can see based on my map they're going to be coming out the other door. So here, my archers are going to take care of a lot of them while I come down and uh, clean up the rest or any stragglers who are coming through. So now that they've broken through both both doors, basically, you know they're going to be coming through uh, both doors at the same time. One door is pretty easy. So what I want to do here is I see there's a big pit here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this so it's going to fling their guy out into that pit. So perfect. Here I wasn't quite sure exactly which door they were going to come up, so I go in the middle just checking out. I can see they're going to come out this left door, not the right door. And I was just checking here just in case. So here they come, they're coming out this door, and you can see that, uh, you know, we're killing a decent amount of them, but when they step when they step on those uh, when they step on those floor panels, they're gonna go flying here. So here, I'm gonna drop back down and try to clean up any stragglers that are coming out of this side uh, to kill them. You can see again, those uh, floor things are throwing quite a bit of them out there. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and place another one. Place a couple of these out here. So what I was going to do up here is place a few more archers because I know the archers will definitely help out here. Just figuring, okay, we better place some over here. Because I wanted to go ahead and stack one side really heavily, but then also just have my guy focus on one of the sides. So here, I didn't place too much emphasis, again, on... Um, didn't place too much emphasis on this side because I wanted to stick over on this side and really deal a lot of my own damage over here instead of focusing on the other side. So this is where it gets difficult. This is where I know a lot of people will fail. It's uh, here. Is basically both sides are going to be coming out. On this side, of course, they got this uh, got this ogre. So what I try to do here is just continue continuously stun him. So there, I was lucky enough to uh, to get him luckily with that uh, bomb. I can see over my map here that they uh, got one of their guys are coming pretty close to the end here. So I'm going to run over here as fast as I can. I can see it's just one of these lonely, uh, lonely orcs here. So I was able to beat him down pretty quick. So not bad. Basically, this side over here held its own um, under each of the uh, each of the onslaughts of my ideas. So you can see here, I'm going to post more of these... Uh, more of these traps here and for some reason I accidentally placed that trap the incorrect way so it's gonna push them back which is okay it's not a bad thing so here I see they're gonna be coming out the other side so of course this is the side I always want to focus on so here I'm simply just gonna try and uh, really just kill as many of these guys as I can because I believe on this way they actually send that cave troll or the big ogre uh, on the other way so here I'm gonna port and I know that the ogre is coming through, so I got to go back. Yep, all the way back around here to go help out. So here I see the ogre. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to stun him here really quick. You can see my finger was getting tired from having to click that fire mouse button so much. So here he's getting close to the rift. He should have just ran in it. I went ahead and stunned him and finally finished him off. Well, almost. One more hit. There we go. <laughs> so on this next level, I'm pretty much going to follow the same thing that I just did. Is I want to go and really stack that left side. Uh, that way I can just focus on the right side by myself. 
So here I'm going to give this another archer over here just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> give him two of them. I know that the other side was doing fairly well with sort of the setup that I have. So here I'm going to try and keep these guys pushed back as far as I can. And you can see uh, all their guys are getting tossed inside the uh, inside that pit there if you watch the watch the map there. It looks like a few of them got by on the on the left side. So here in a moment I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to go back there and clean those guys up. So perfect. I see that uh, you know the other way was pretty much clean. I see one guys or two guys are getting super close here um, to the other side here. I thought someone messaged me, so I was like, oh, what's? I was like, oh, what's going on? I can see that the the game is actually still going when you do that. I think so. Uh, here I see a couple more guys are coming. So they're just the regular guys. So here I'm going to go ahead and beat these guys up too pretty easily. So here we go. I got a lot more cash this time. So here I know they're going to bring the total onslaught coming up. So what I'm going to do here is really get a few of these to uh, to sling them again into the uh, into the pit there. The last thing you'll ever see. I wanted to see if I can get a few of these up there. So right right at, right out the gate, I can fling a few of them. Tried seeing if I can put a few more on the steps there. I couldn't, so again, what I'm going to do here is just continuously set these uh, set these wall traps to push a bunch of them out there. So what I decided to do here is figure, okay, you know what? I got enough of those uh, traps down below. Let's just stack the very top of this with a ton of archers to do a bunch of damage uh, on these guys. course and it doesn't hurt to put a couple traps over here um, you know a couple spike traps to slow I'm them down so perfect. so perfect my guy is ready to go um, this is again I think there's gonna be three more phases here are three more waves in this round so here again I'm just gonna go ahead and keep spamming right at the door And you can see over on the left side, those traps are working great. You can see all their orcs are basically landing in the pit there. While I continue here and just basically kill this whole uh, right side. I'm still trying to keep a good eye over there on the left side. I can see a lot of the orcs got through. So I'm going to have to run back here and go uh, kill this whole wave that got through. And you can see there is quite a few of them. So here, I don't know what I was doing there. I was going to place one of those things. But here, a whole bunch of them, basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, simply just spam my spam my crossbow here. So perfect. That wave was pretty easy to pass. Again, continue to stack either the right or left side with just a ton of stuff, and then you could really focus on the other side. So I wasn't quite sure what happened here. I thought that I put uh, some more traps there. I didn't know if they got beat down or what. So here I'm taking a look at the map again. I'm going to follow the same technique that I've used before. And I'm simply going to sit here and stay up here and just spam as much as I can. While keeping an eye, of course, on the left side, you can see those traps are working great, flinging a ton of their guys over there. I can see a couple of their guys are getting past in the hallway, which is which is perfectly fine. I know I, I, know I should be able to handle them. So here I'm going to go up and swing back and go back into the uh, hallway because I see, a, again, a few of their guys are getting close to the rift. They're in the east hall. Ooh, so here only a few stragglers come through, which is no big deal. And I thought I killed, I thought I killed those guys, but it looks like they're actually super close to the rift, so I don't know uh, if I just missed them or turned around or what happened there. So I can see two more guys make it through, so I go ahead and kill these guys fairly easy. Perfect. So that's it for that wave. I know that there's going to be one more wave coming up, and they're going to bring it tough here. So what I tried doing is uh, sending a few archer guys here for anybody who might get through. Because, uh, again, I can get almost 80% of the guys with the current technique that I have set up. So here we go. Here's the sort of last onslaught they have. 
Here comes another huge old orc guy coming out of this side. I'm going to go ahead and try and just, you know, continuously uh, daisy stun him. And I can see that they got another orc coming down on, their, on the other side too as well. So perfect, I see that I was able to clear that orc on that side, so I know the orc is coming on the other side. So here I'm going to try and go in and uh, uh, stop this orc over here, because I know he's going to beat down my archer guys. So I'm going to continuously try to stun this guy, Ho hopefully my archers are going to deal a lot of damage. So perfect, I was able to kill, well, almost. Of course he has to kill both my archer guys in the same thing, so I can see there's a big a uh, horde that actually got right through right here. So here I'm going to come through and kill him. And again, this is the last wave, so I know I got this beat because I don't have, uh, didn't have too many people go into the rift. So on that note, perfect. That's how I beat it. So let me know the techniques you guys used on it. Again, this was only like my fifth game. Definitely check out all the videos I post daily. Subscribe, and thanks again for watching.